Hello everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Product Zomboid, where we are going to go ahead and clear the rest of this country club out. It shouldn't have that many zombies left in it. I I don't know how long this episode is going to be. I have some kind of meeting with the other tenants in, in my condominium. I actually can't tell if the place that I live at is a condominium or a an apartment. Honestly, everybody who I ask, they, they don't even know. Not even the building manager really knows either. It's kind of weird. They're like, ah, well, it, it kind of is. It's like this, but it's also like that. So it could be either or. So, anyways, yeah. We, 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 with with that aside, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and clear the rest of this out. It shouldn't be really that much. I, honestly, I, I thought this place was gonna have a lot more zombies than it did, and evidently not. Evident, evidently, there's like no zombies whatsoever. I mean, look at this. This place is barren. Did they did they make any changes to this? Because I remember this building. I just don't remember the other building. I just don't come to Riverside all that much. I don't honestly remember any of that other building. This building in particular. Has that been there this entire time? Because I, I recognize this building. There's no way... That's been there this entire time, and it has some brand new assets, like the, the new couches and everything. That's gotta be right. That's gotta be right. Well, anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and go inside this this bad boy. I couldn't decide which word I wanted to use, so I just stumbled on my words. Don't, don't worry about it, it's fine. I'm human, we make mistakes. Anyways, I, there really shouldn't be that many zombies in here. The amount of days that I took, um building the the great library actually um migrated a lot of the zombies back in migrate a lot of, of the zombies back into my area my neck of the woods and um yeah so we're gonna go into inside these cramped spaces and kill zombies like I, I, I totally love doing. It's my favorite thing to do. If you didn't, if you didn't know that, where'd that door go? Is it just inside? I don't remember opening both. Whatever, that's fine. Come on out and say hello. See, they they replaced the furniture in here with the new furniture, and they've got the ATMs and everything. You gotta, you gotta do doors very tricky. You gotta, like, basically get a pixel away from them. <laughs> it, it's, it's like a, it's, it's honestly a nerve-wracking event every single time I do it. But, you know. What, what's this game without a little bit of chaos? I don't know. I don't understand people that, that just play this game constantly with, like, utmost accuracy. Not even accuracy, but, like, making list and like checking it twice you know re really living out their days of santa claus you know father christmas of course i just can't do it i just can't bring myself to it this is not fun to me i play this game to have fun and my my type of fun is uh, being chaotic as hell let's go ahead and remove this and go through it yes i understand it looks broken but it's not broken this is that glass. It's really stupid. We just gotta remember that that's the glass that we went, we came in from. And holy shit! <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, by golly, geez, that's a lot of zombies. I can't fight him that tight space. So I'm gonna fight him in a different tight space, like inside or something. That sounds smart. That's super smart. 
Oh boy, is this it for good old Marion? Going in next week. No, we're good. We're literally taking care of the zombies fast as hell. Baby. When in doubt, we break out the axe. The axe will bring us love. There we go. Not too bad. I'm going to go back into the lobby and use this chair. Yo, it's it's totally fine, game. It's totally fine. Stop with, stop with the crazy music. We're good. Nobody's dying anytime soon. Except these zombies, of course. Come on, come on, come on. Eh, yeah, fine. Come on out here, wimps. Get out of your comfort of your country club. Face me. Witness me. Witness me, master. Witness me. Go ahead and go in to the comments and tell me what that movie reference is. If you know, you're the true MVP. I, I will pin your comment forever. Your comment will forever be pinned to this video. That is the first person, of course. All right, we're running inside. We can't see any zombies through the darkness of that doorway. Remember, you gotta be safe in this game. Don't take any risk. If you take a risk, you're gonna be sorry. All right, so there's some really nice bookshelves here that we can take if we wanted. I'm gonna eat these chips so I can gain just a little bit more weight. Some chocolate. Oh, there's some good, some really good food in here. Hi there, Fred. What's that you got there? A nice little rifle? Look at these couches, dude. Kawaii, ne? I might want to take some of the stuff from here. I'll be perfectly honest. There's some good pictures. There's some good draperies. Oh, black leather chairs. Yeah, we're, we're going to be taking quite a bit from here. This rug. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, this is this is how I want my library to look. I just wish that we can do this with the, the paneling inside, but evidently we can't. Now, my big fear is the stairs. Uh, yeah, stairs. Uh, I don't care. I don't care how much time you put in this game. Scares are always going to be scary. There's no amount of time that you need to put into this game to make uh, stairs unscary. It just doesn't exist. Kill the bathroom zams. Oh my god. <laughs> just going back and forth like come on just just fucking open it just open it please all right lovely i i might want to take like a like a toilet or something i don't know make some water basins or whatnot get real freaky with it i don't know you guys like getting freaky what's going on here hello hi how are you i'm running yeah, it's just, it's way too crazy in here. I, I, it's, this is big spooky. They're upstairs. They have to be. I'm gonna go out here, beat up these guys. Hi there, dudes. You guys wanna have playtime? The playtime is over, friends. What? Playtime? Over? We just got started. I was bit last week. Oh, dead. Feels bad, man. All right, put that on the ground. You know, I, I say I'm gonna pick it up at some point. It's never gonna happen. Never, ever, ever gonna happen. Um, no police baton. A bow tie. Hey there, bow tie. Eat lead, mug head. Come on, boys. Come to the parking lot. Bunch of rich people. Bunch of rich Kentuckians. Those are my family. 
These are my family. Come on over here. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Swabo. Blammo. Cool. I'm gonna put down my stool. Oh, oh my god. Where you guys come from? This is a no zombie zone. Thank you. Nobody's gonna come after me as I put down my stool. Lovely. He's probably gonna get up, this dude. He's probably gonna get up. You know, I was watching Red Naru's video about the the zombies that get up, and he's like, oh, the, these have like a hundred percent chance of killing you. I've been able to, I mean, if you're watchful, if you've if you're perceptive in this game, you don't have to worry about them. They're pretty easy to kind of tell. And when they do get up, it's just another zombie coming after you. Unless, like, you're playing with sprinters, it's not really that scary. I get I get that they can kind of get the jump on you, but as long as you have keen hearing, you're literally fine. No zombie will ever be able to sneak up on you if you have keen hearing. Unless they're in a tree, of course. That's the only time. In a tree, on the stairs, in shadows. Those are the only times I've ever been able to, like, truly get sneaked up on by a zombie with, care with keen hearing. Uh, yeah, this place is going to be quite magical to go through. I don't know, man. Holy balls. Why, hello there. Yeah, yeah come to the parking lot. Do you see how many that were in there? Oh my god. What you doing, lady? She got them leather gloves. Leather gloves all love. You too, guys. Step one, step all. See the last one who will fall. Man, Marion's gonna die of old age, I promise. I, it, so the the current I, I talked about this in the other video, but the current um, max zombie skilled is 338,000 or so. I can't remember the exact metrics. Um, I we're definitely gonna pass that eventually. We're definitely gonna pass that because even when I stream this, if there's any at any point that I'm outside of like a safe zone or something if i'm not pausing the game i'm focusing on zombies i'm focusing on terrain i don't step anywhere close to trees because trees kill people it's the number one cause of death in this game at least for me so yeah i'm keeping an absolute vigilant eye I want the series to go as far as like 600 plus episodes. Maybe. You know, as long as we can go, this this series will keep going. At least I'm gonna try. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad. Just like what I could have done is gone up to the zombie that was actually um, in that tree there. Just like I could have gone up to that zombie that was crawling out of that window right there. But the risk is another zombie could be behind that zombie and uh, knock me down. The risk of going up to a, a tree zombie is another is like four or five different zombies in the trees you know, ambushing me from the tree. Because that happens. If you've ever played this game, and you'll see, like, a single tree, and you're like, oh, there's only one zombie walking through that tree, and then, like, five pop, pop up out of nowhere. That's the real danger. That's why you stay away from trees. Trees will eventually kill you if you get anywhere close to them. That's why I try not to go through, like, the woods or anything, unless I know for sure there's no zombies. By no zombies, I mean like very little zombies. I'm not gonna be crawling through the the woods of this area because I know there's gonna be hundreds of zombies throughout it. Just not a smart idea. All right, 
let's go put down our stool yet again. It's about four, almost five o'clock. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. We're starting to get a little sleepy. That's why we can sleep on the, the stool. We keep our fingers on shift and we pick up our stool. Eggs, buddy. We're going to have a cigarette and enjoy our day. Lovely. Oh, we got a wandering group. Man, let me finish my smoke. Let me finish my smoke. It's actually very surprising how many people that make content for Product Zomboid have, or like, the amount of content that people make about this game versus their actual experience in this game. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that's like, oh, you need to be experienced if you're going to make content or whatever, which, you know, partially I am. You know, especially if you're if you're trying to educate people, I, I feel like if if a content creator is trying to educate me, they should have more than at least 500 hours in this game, because I'd even consider that you don't actually start understanding this game until about 200 hours. Around 200 hours is the the point where you start like understanding the mechanics of this game, but are still ass. <laughs> you know what? Like. And I, I mean, and I, I hate, I hate saying that. I mean it in like the nicest way possible. You know, it. Just going out of pure experience of my own. Like, I probably wasn't good at this game till about my 900 hour point. Around 900 hours, I was able to do Apoc settings, but not very well. After about 1500 hours in this game, that's when I was able to. Um, you know, venture out, make my own builds, and you know, figure out you know meta build builds before watching a video. You know, and and actually getting into some of the the higher difficulties of this game. I can 100% CDA challenges without any issue whatsoever. Like I can boot up a CDA challenge anytime and finish it 100% of the time. If you guys want to see a CDDA challenge, just let me know. I, I'll actually go step by step of what you need to do to get rid of all of your Moodles and become and get into a, a place where you're actually like super safe and have tons and tons of weapons and food and everything. Now, there are speedruns for it. I typically like to go the safer route because speedruns is basically like, oh, you know, if I get if I get hit and die, I'm you know I'm, it's whatever. But I kind of run on the the idea that you know this is my life and um, like my character's life is my life, so I should you know, treat it as so. You know, good old RP rules. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing like some like really nice challenge series series is. is but with also with uh, Spooktober on the on the cusp, on the horizon, might might be a, a bit difficult and whatnot. Also, you guys over on the YouTube's are in for a treat. Are in for an absolute treat. So, I I don't know how I'm gonna pull it off, but I'm gonna start trying to do. Um, Streaming on both Twitch and YouTube. I haven't announced it on like any community tab yet, but I have announced it on Twitch. And uh, I've got most of the settings ready and everything. And some brand new visuals. So it's going to be interesting. Now, I don't expect a lot of um, viewership from you guys over here on YouTube. But I, I think it'd be nice to kind of... Um, have the VODs already on here. Plus, YouTube allows me to actually um, stream at higher quality than Twitch. Hilariously enough. Twitch being the, the the biggest streaming platform doesn't actually allow its streamers to stream at, five, at a 4K, almost at 5K. But YouTube does. It doesn't make any sense. I wonder who makes more money. Man, this music right now, God, it is.
It is loud. I guess I guess I'll keep it on. But man, it is loud. Come on there, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and squirrels. How many zombies have we killed? Like maybe a hundred? 120 maybe? Not insane amount. This is surprising. I've even thought about like taking a nap in this place or something. You know, you know where we go directly after this? I don't know, man. I'm thinking Rosewood. Thinking Rosewood. Although the prison or not the prison. Oh, the prison, yeah. Uh the military base is between us and Rosewood right now. We could totally go to the, the military base. It's gonna be disgusting. Of course. It's gonna be absolutely disgusting. Mostly because of the trees again. The whole reason why the military base is scary is the, is the damn path you have to take. And if I were to go through it, I would probably just take it slowly. Just go through the pathing as slow as possible. Cutting down the trees. Legit. The last time I did the base, I, I had um, the motorcycle mod and I was able to just like kind of go through the trees pretty easily. Although, it's it's kind of hilarious. If you have um, authentic Z's or authentic Peach's um, authentic animations, you can actually Naruto run through zombies. You can Naruto run through the trees without getting hurt and through zombies without getting hurt. It's hilarious. That's what a lot of people on our server were doing. And they were like, oh man, we have to get rid of the um, animations. People are abusing it. Feels bad, man. But yeah, let me know. Let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about um um live streaming on YouTube. I know I'm not doing this because of the whole drama and everything. In fact, I don't think Twitch is going anywhere. Twitch is never, never gonna die. I don't know if you if you know this, but Amazon has a lot of money. And there's a lot of content creators on Twitch, so it's Twitch is just never gonna die. Just the big, the big people are gonna be going. That's it. Which could be good and could be get, could be really, really bad. This is dangerous. But yeah, all right, let's get out of here. I'll meet you guys when it's when it's daytime. All right, we're back. So, I didn't realize how much weight I've been gaining. I didn't... <laughs> it just came up out of nowhere. At one moment, I was, I was down to 82. Now I'm back up to 84. With double chevrons. Yikes. We gotta, we gotta be running everywhere. We gotta be running everywhere. We gotta make sure that we get our exercise in. Come on, Marion. Get your shit together, buddy. Too many lard soups. Too much lard we've been putting. Too much Crisco. Get rid of the Crisco, Marion. You can't be having all that Crisco in your in your soups. The fr the fried vegetable soup. I know it. I know it's a pain. I I wish you could too, man. I I wish you could have it. But you got cholesterol problems, Marion. Well, you have cholesterol problems. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be running everywhere from now on. It's it's gonna make us very spicy, and very uh, and put us in really bad situations. But you know, it's what you gotta do, baby. It's what you gotta do. You gotta burn the calories, even though running really doesn't burn that many calories in this game. Fighting burns more calories, so it's a good thing that we're fighting. But we should be running and fighting at the same time. I love how like not even a couple minutes ago I was over here talking about like oh don't don't be taking any unnecessary risks but like I got this we're good man it's it's like the epic um, the epic scene in Dawn of the Dead when um, not Flyboy but um, the other guy I can't even remember his name at the top of my head right now when he's like. Don't worry about me, man. I'm good. I'm good. This is nothing, man. Such a glorious, glorious movie. 
You know, a lot of people actually enjoyed Dawn of the Dead remake more than Dawn of the Dead OG. And I just have to say, if you're one of those people, we can't be friends. We cannot be friends. It's not that Dawn of the Dead um, remake is a bad movie. It's that Dawn of the Dead remake is a bad movie. It, it's just... It's... As a remake, it's terrible. As a movie, it's just kind of weird or whatnot. I mean, it had, literally had a zombie, ba a zombie baby in the movie, which... In, in all aspects is some of the most like corniest moments in, in all of television history but I digress um yeah I it's just there's there's a lot of people that really enjoyed that movie and it's very surprising don't get me wrong I enjoyed it I enjoyed it sure I just don't think it's a good zombie movie I mean it's a good zombie movie Sh I, it's, it's just it's so hard to like explain my my bitches and gripes about that movie it's just like they didn't even care and honestly George A. Romero after the year of uh, 2000 he just stopped giving a shit all, all of his movies he directed after the year 2000 were just kind of like whatever Bes besides like Day of the Dead Day of, or no not Day of the Dead Land of the Dead. That was uh, pretty solid. Land of the Dead was a really solid uh, movie, I have to say. I I real I I'd even go back and watch it many many times. It it had its corny moments, but besides the corny moments, it had a lot of really good moments. That makes it a really good zombie movie, in my in my perspective. Although I'm, I'm I'm a big fan. Oh my god, my uh, my stuttering. I don't even stutter. It's just like I think too fast. But um, I'm a huge fan of the classics, man. It's just the best. Oh my god, everybody can hear me stutter. That's the worst. Um, yeah, I'm afraid to go into here. It's just anytime you see any anything like that, I'm so afraid to even check out my uh, my um, weight right now. Oh, so unfortunate. Double chevrons. This here's the thing. I've been eating like the lard soup for such a long time, and I haven't had any double chevrons from it. And it's vegetable soup. That's the crazy. That's the crazier part. That's scary. By the way, I think there's a zombie in there. I can hear him. These guys are just on their own little island. That's hilarious. I don't think I've ever seen a zombie um, spawn on like a piece of land like that. That's hilarious. That's amazing, actually. It's zombie island. It's the land of the dead. So good. Does anybody remember, um, not Night of the Living Dead, but, um, oh god, what's the, what's the arcade shooter? Is it like, it's not Land of the Dead. Not House of a Thousand Corpses, that's also a, a fantastic movie. Not, not saying the movie I'm trying to reference is a, is an awesome movie, but it's actually a really, really, really terrible movie. It's like... I can't I can't remember what the um like the arcade game was. House of the Dead. House of the Dead. I was like, it, it's something of the dead, of course. But House of the Dead the movie? Awful. Dude. What were they thinking? What were they smoking? What were they smoking when they made that movie? Who, who wrote for that movie? Who was just like, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, that's it. That's what we're gonna make. It's not gonna have any continuity with anything. It's not even gonna have, it like, an original plot. It's just gonna be something that's weird. It makes no sense. Like, House of the Dead actually has a story. Kind of, not really. Like, they could've just easily follow, followed, like, a geriatric you know, a geriatrics version of that and, you know, had a pretty damn good movie, but they decided not to. This is a death trap. I should take down all this fence. This is a solid place. 
Oh, look at that. That's actually a, a fence. Would have never known. Oh, I do. I, I don't want to look at my stats. Okay, we're good. I'm so scared. I'm so, I'm so scared to get fat. Guys, I don't want to get fat. It's scary. Being fat scary. Come on, Mary. Keep running. You got to run marathons, buddy. Running and fighting. Look at them. See, that's why you don't go into trees. That's the exact reason you don't you don't ever go into trees. Because of that. Right there. It's disgusting. You're terrible. I hate all of you. Over here! As Carlos would say in Resident Evil 3. By the way, if anybody's interested, there's a huge Resident Evil 3 um, speedrun event going on on Twitch on uh, September 28th, daylight. The monsters have entered the city, but somehow I'm still alive. And um, it's going to have tons and tons of Resident Evil speedrunners um, racing each other. It's going to be amazing. If, if you're interested in that, do consider watching that. I thought about entering it this year, but I just... I haven't been able to find the time to actually de-rust the game. I honestly, Resident Evil 3 is one of those games you have to de-rust. You can't just go just blindly into it and hope for the best. If you don't if you don't know any of the RNG, um if you don't know any of the RNG um in the game, you're screwed because the entire game is RNG. Right, I'm gonna sit on the ground, wait a little bit. I I think we're Almost done with this whole area. I'm not gonna go on these backpacks. I don't know. I might. Yeah, I might, I might hit up those little back roads or whatever. It's fine. Let's go ahead and smoke a ciggy. Lay it on me. Call the sperm bank. I want my comeback. And um, yeah, we're gonna keep venturing up forth. See, these trees are just death, man. Don't get anywhere near trees. At least give yourself a tile away from trees or just run. <laughs> I'm telling you, you will die. Trees will kill you, I promise. Oh, get out of here. Ah. Nice. Oh yeah, we're running. That's right, that's right. I'm, I'm not gonna eat today. I'm not even gonna eat. That's fine. That can That can stay like that. I'm almost like hesitant to even kill that zombie. Because look at that. Look at this. Disgusting. It's just imminent death right there. Like, let's say you try to go for a headshot on that zombie and those three zombies just pop out and kill you. That's why, that's why trees are so bad. You should always be weary of trees. Trees have more teeth than zombies, I promise. Yeah. We're going to just go ahead and Take a nice little jog down memory lane. How are you guys doing? This is nice. This is peaceful. Yeah, well, you know, just Mary, you're just getting this workout in. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Don't have to worry about anything. This is fine. Yeah, this is nice. So, I made a nice little community post about um, what to expect from the modding community. I thoroughly believe that there's going to be cryptids. I think the modding community is going to have cryptids. I think as, so as soon as the animals come in, somebody's going to be like, all right, Mothman, let's go, baby. Sasquatch? You got it. Sasquatch is going to be the very, very first NPC from the animals. And he's going to be able to talk to you. And he's going to give you shotguns. It's going to be amazing. This lovely group of coconuts. Here we go. Not too bad, not too bad. And... Slammo. I hope... 
by making the series, I teach people that like giant groups like that are nothing to fear. I hope by making the series, because I see that a lot with with um, people in Project Zomboid, is that they see like five or six zombies and they instantly think I can't win. That is unbeatable. I literally have to run away and lose these zombies. When I see it like a giant group, I'm like, nah, that's nothing. Literally the easiest group I've ever seen in my entire life. That's that's kind of what I, I'm trying to get with this series is to um, build that player confidence that like see, maybe seeing somebody else do it will, you know, kind of invigorate them to um, also do the same and whatnot in their playthroughs. And I know that, that that I say this, you know, very long down down the road of the playthrough or whatnot. It is what it is. But it is... Okay. Okay. It is one of the, um... The things I've wanted to do with this playthrough is uh, kind of teach people that zombies aren't scary. In fact, there, there are worse fears in this game other than the zombies. Like trees. Trees are terrible. Fence are terrible. Using, using, you know, windows and whatnot to clear zombies is terrible. There's so many scarier things that can eventually kill you than zombies. But you might think, oh, it's a zombie game. Obviously, the zombies are the problem. But it, that's literally not the case. Yeah, I'll take that. That's fine. I could take the small metal sheets, but we're about to literally have infinite amount of those forever. Maybe not infinite, but as much as the um, the map wants me to. Hmm. Get deadified, buddy. Look at this strong man. XL. Yeah, he was he was a strong zombie, wasn't he? Let's take his khaki. Take his pants. Make him naked. Did you guys know the very first live streamer of all time? Video game live streamer, Niburi, who was like tortured in like on a game show in Japan. I highly, highly recommend looking up Niburi. 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 Um and how he was on a game show where he was forced to, um... Oh god, what was he? He's like forced to do, um... One, they stripped him naked. And they forced him to... Um, take out... Catalogs. Or like... Adver not, not like... Sweepstake. There we go. I was like, advertisements? No, it's like sweepstakes from, from catalogs to win things. And his whole goal was to, um win eight thousand dollars a one million yen worth of um of sweepstake winnings and everything and it took him 335 days they only gave him water and he was stripped naked he the only food that he was able to get was the stuff that he won from the sweepstakes and he for a good long time he was eating dog food and, it, and, like, he didn't have any cooking utensils or anything, so the first time he actually won rice, he couldn't cook it, so he had to eat it raw. And, um, he would, he would win meat that he couldn't really, well, he had a burner and, like, a, like a stove and everything, but there was a time when he just kind of, like, went crazy and started eating, um, like, pork raw, and he had a bunch of other meat that he ate raw because he just didn't have the strength to really cook it and was just so hungry that he just ended up eating it raw and didn't even care. Like, absolutely insane. But the reason why I say he is the very first, um, like, video game live streamer is because he won a, in the first couple months, he actually won a, um, a PS1 game. A PlayStation 1 game and, um like a controller or whatnot, but he didn't have a, he didn't have a PS one and he didn't have a, um, 
a TV or anything to actually use it. So he just kind of like sat there and just hoped for it. And he's he like filled out thousands, I think hundreds of thousands, like 100,000 plus um, of these catalogs and uh, or these little sweepstakes and everything. And around like month 10, he well like month four, he got a TV, but obviously he didn't have an antenna for it, so he couldn't watch any anything on the TV. And um, after that, around like month 10 is when he finally, finally, finally got a, a Sony PS1. And he played the game for three days straight. He played this game for three days straight. Not having hardly any human contact with anybody. Literally talking to a walrus. Um, like doll and everything. As his actual like, he, like comfort absolutely insane and then when he won when he won the the entire challenge on on day 335 they congratulated him by taking him to korea when he went to korea i'm taking this by the way when he went to korea they set him up in another room and told him to do it again but in korea he had to win his his way back home to japan he had, to, he had to get enough things, enough um, sweepstakes winnings for a, not a basic flight ticket, not a, like a business flight ticket, but a first class, first class ticket back to Japan. Absolutely insane. And like, perfectly legal. <laughs> oh man. Like... Just just remembering that like haunts me to this very day. Absolutely haunts me. We got to remember that that's there. That's not going to happen. Honestly, we we have a we have a ton of generators. It's not really that big of a deal. Can we actually put this mannequin in here? No. Nope, of course not. I might have to drive down here and just pick it up. I think that's probably the, the safe and most smart option. There we go. Yeah, we're just going to pick this up later. It's a cool mannequin, man. I'm going to put some cool clothes on him. Make him look snazzy. Make him a clown or something. But yeah. How, how many people actually knew, knew about that? occurrence like Japan had their own like they basically made their own live streaming service in 1998 wee 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 man we haven't heard an alarm in forever I just running just in case just in case there was like thousands of zombies upstairs for some odd reason you never know with this game. Tons of zombies in here. Cool. Uh, and then comes the worst part, the upstairs. Oh boy, I hate stairs in this game. Hey, 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 it stares in this game. I'm just... Well, see, that's the thing. If they're distracted, if zombies are distracted on um, doors, then they they may not come down to get you. That's the problem with um, going upstairs in this game, is that it's just so dangerous. Yeah! Oh. So dangerous. You can always door flash as well. Door flashing is very is a very, very good strategy in this game. I don't do it because I just haven't done it enough to like really get it hard hard grained in my mind, but it's definitely the better strategy in this game. 
is the door flash. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's where... Just get skilled enough that doing that, that you can kind of see in the room and then just close it immediately. It's very, very, very effective. And it's even better when you have like sprinters and anything like that. It's actually one of the the better, um, me not mechanics, but like strategies when it comes to sprinters. If you ever want to play with sprinters, just door flash them. Get them stuck on doors and just door flash them real quick. Let's take these pills so we can actually get out of here in a decent amount of time. By a decent amount of time, I mean the amount of time it'll take to kill zombies. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for me, guys. If you like my content and you want to see more, do consider liking, subscribing, and ringing the bell. Also, checking out my links down below in the description. I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.